Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. We're going to definitely miss Kobe. I remember back in 99 to 2001 when I used to work at the Staples Center. They used to beat, they were the champions back then. But it just seems like over the past years after I left, they're not champions anymore. Well, now since Kobe is gone, hopefully we'll have other team members that wants to you know, like follow his footsteps and do good in the future. So, let me let you know. I was doing a uh, Uber, and what you want to do is wherever you're located, you want to just tap on, turn on to driving mode, and you'll get a little request. Once the request comes in, you pick those people up, and you drive them to their designated area. So I picked up this guy, uh, this Asian guy. His name was, uh, oh, you know what? I'm not going to say what, what his name is. But anyway, he's. Uh, I was dropping him off at Cedar sinai which was his uh, job. And he was letting me know something that he does uh, as a second job. And his second job is he teaches hip-hop. And he also is, uh, I think you said, a Latin dancer. So that was good information to know because just in case I want to learn because I'm up in age in 40s, um, I don't really have the dancing skills as you young people have. So, but um, he gave me his number. So if I want to learn some hip hop, I can contact him and he charges $30 an hour. So that's pretty good. And he probably does Zamba, I'm not even sure, but um, if you want more information, you can send me an email and I can let you know about his uh, information. And after I left there, I got another request and I don't really remember the people I picked. Oh, you know what? Actually, I do remember the person. It was this guy, he was, um, I think he was... Indian. I'm not really sure. But I picked him up in the Beverly Hills area, same area I dropped him off, the first guy off. Picked him up, took him to downtown LA. And then once I left downtown LA, I actually turned the, off, the app off because I didn't want to pick up any more downtown. I wanted to try to go more west towards the beach where you'll actually bring in, I'll actually bring in more money. So I wind up turning it on once I got like in the uh, Pico Union area. Picked up somebody, uh, picked up these two ladies. Um, they were Caucasian. They weren't from here. As a matter of fact, they were from Chicago. There's a lot of people from the East Coast coming in to California lately. So I picked them up from a restaurant, dropped them off at a hotel off of Wilshire. And they were pretty... Um, interesting i say interesting because um i think a lot of people well no yeah a lot of people were like into uh smoking marijuana and i think I, one of the ladies had a cigarette or something and i said well as long as it's not weed you can get in the car and she was like why what's wrong with that i said well i'm personally not really into it because i'm a city driver but at the same time, other people are into it. And I just don't really care for the scent. It's just not for me. And she was like, oh, okay, okay. And then the lady saw a little, uh, I have a little bus that sits underneath my little uh, Metro Express so that it doesn't fall while I'm going around the city. And she was like, um, how old? For some reason, one of the ladies was like, well, how old are you? And I was like... I told her my age, and she was like, oh, I don't know what I was thinking. I meant to ask you, how old are the kids that you pick up? And I said, um, I don't pick up only kids. I pick up everybody. She was like, oh, okay. So then she was telling the other lady, that's why she doesn't smoke, because she's a city bus driver. And the lady was like, oh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. So after I dropped them off in Koreatown, um... I came back to my area, which is like off of Pico and Hauser, and then after I got in that area, I got her another request. I got a request from the Lowe's 
area off of Pico and Grandpa, picked this girl up, she was black, um, dropped her off like you know, for the Crenshaw, Washington area. She just had a hard day at work. I said, yeah, I have a hard day every day. Going to work, waking up is hard for me sometimes because I just want to be able to stay in the house and sleep. But, you know, we all got to make some money, so couldn't do all that. So then after I dropped her off, I picked up someone off of Washington and Vermont area. A Hispanic girl dropped her off in South L.A. And uh, she was pretty cool. She said she was just tired and ready to go home. She had a, a long day. I said, yeah, I don't blame you. Then I picked up, oh, no, then I had, um, I had got a request. Now, the funny thing about that was I haven't been to the Dodger Stadium ever, ever, that I can recall. So, I went up there, and it was like telling me to go up where the cars are coming down, and they got the traffic officers telling you, you can only go in one certain direction. So, once I went up the hill... And around, I realized, okay, you know what? Maybe this is not for me. So then I wind up going another way, and it was telling me to make a right, which was all where all the traffic was coming down this hill. And I said, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. So I just clicked cancel. And, oh, before I clicked cancel, this guy called and said, where are you? And I said, well, I tried to come up there. It's just that the traffic officers tell you you can't go up there. So they're going to close down streets in there. And he was like, well, okay. Uh, I said, you know, if you're so angry right now, maybe it's not a good idea you get in the car with me. You sound like a young kid anyway. So he was like, all right, suit yourself. So then I canceled out. And then... Um, what I wind up doing is coming away from the Dodger Stadium, going closer into Chinatown, and I received another request. Now, once I received another request, it was these uh, two, uh, I think a Caucasian guy and an Asian girl. And the guy, he was just so talkative. This is what I noticed about a lot of young people that are in college. They like to talk to us adults. <laughs> and... And he was just asking me, uh, even though I'm in my 40s, he's asking me, uh, no, I said, oh, what area are you guys from? And he said, oh, I'm from Beverly Hills. I said, oh, okay. Well, I went to Beverly Hills High School. And he was like, really? I said, yeah, I went there going to the 10th grade, but that was in 84. And he was like, oh, okay, I wasn't even born then. <laughs> I said, yeah, I see that. Then I said, but I did go to uh university high school and he was like what you went to what uni i have a lot of friends that went there and i'm sitting here thinking hey, i ain't gonna know anybody that you know unless they're your parents <laughs> and he was like um yeah i have a lot of friends that went there i said yeah there's a lot of celebrities that actually went to my high school lisa stansfield for one uh i can't remember anybody else and he was like oh okay and i said he said yeah but so i'm looking at the the map and it's showing uh usc so i'm like oh okay okay i see we are going to the usc he said yeah we both go there now i said oh okay that's cool i said you guys um get your education while you can while you're young because when you get old you don't want to go back to school and he was like yeah i understand so then when i was after i dropped them off i received another request from a university avenue and the funny thing about that was it was giving me an address, but then, you know, it's kind of dark over there. You can't really see the street address. So I, I went down, I busted the unit, came back. Then I noticed it was a charter bus that people were coming off the bus. So this guy holds his phone up like this, so I knew it was him. He, Him and a couple of girls got in the car. And they were like, he was like, oh, come on, you can just ride with us over there. And they were like, okay, okay. So it was a guy and I think three gir three or four girls. Yeah, about three girls. So I was like, so how are you guys? And they said, oh, we're great. We just came back from a Dodger game. And I said, oh, really?